Hello, this is Victoria. Welcome to part three of my glucose tolerance test. This is the results of them. I finally got them back. Um, I had the uh, blood sugar results back after about a week, but I was still waiting on the insulin results. And so those finally came in, and so I'm finally going to get this uh, posted up. Okay. Um, this is for the five hour glucose tolerance test. I went in, they drew my blood, and then they gave me 100 grams of sugar in a very super sweet orange flavored drink. And then they tested my blood every hour for the next five hours. So, okay, my fasting glucose was 70, which is totally normal. And my fasting insulin was less than two, which is pretty good, I think. Okay, um, then they gave me the 100 grams of sugar, and one hour after the 100 grams of sugar, I was 46, which is um, kind of low. <laughs> and my insulin was 16. Now, I don't know anything about insulin, so if anybody out there knows anything about whether 16 is a good reading after one hour and 100 grams of sugar, uh, please let me know, because I don't know. Um, I apologize, I'm still a little stuffed up. I'm getting over a cold right now. Okay, um, glucose two hours. I went from, I went all the way down to 39, which is uh, hypoglycemic. It's listed out of range on the low side on my paper here. And my insulin at that time was less than two. Um, glucose results hour three. I was all the way down to 30 which is definitely hypoglycemic and insulin was less than two. Hour four, my liver finally kicked in and did what it's supposed to do and started putting, dumping some uh, glucose into my system to get my blood sugar back up and at hour four my blood sugar was 66 um, and glucose was less than two. And hour five, my uh, blood sugar was up to 72, so it was all the way back up to where I had started five hours earlier, and insulin was less than two. <clears throat> so um, I did go hypoglycemic, and believe it or not, at 30, uh, at a blood sugar of 30, I was still walking around, walking and talking. Um, my doctor said he's never seen a more clear-cut case of hypoglycemia than me. Now, the strange thing is, that I had a two-hour uh, glucose tolerance test done a couple of years ago, and the results of that, I don't know if I can find them uh, quick enough or not for this video, but the results from that were quite different, and um, I don't see them here, but if I re recall correctly, I started at a blood sugar of, yeah, here it is, I started at a blood sugar of 69, they gave me uh, 75 grams of glucose and tested me two hours later and I was 89 at that time which is not hypoglycemic at all so I don't know exactly what happened with this test that I went hypoglycemic and I did not on this other one this earlier test was in July of 06 so um, I don't know what happened between July of 06 and August of 08 but there you go. Um, okay, so uh, those were my results and you can kind of go back and look at how I felt um, during the test, uh, the, little, the little mini videos that I did of how I felt at various different times and uh, look at my blood sugar of 70 to start, 46 at 1 hour, 39 at 2 hours, 30 at 3 hours, 66 at 4 hours and 72 at 5 hours. And then I was finally able to eat. Okay, so those are my results. Um, hope they were enlightening to you. They were certainly enlightening to me. My doctor told me that I have hypoglycemia and that I need to eat frequently, which I'm already doing, so that's not a problem for me. Alright, see y'all later. Bye.